Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So, I was sent this letter. It's a letter from a school to parents. Now, before I start this, I haven't been able to verify this 100%, the letter part anyway. I sent the school an email, they didn't get back to me, but I have checked their Twitter page and there are details about this moving people exercise and building shelter and camps outside. So it looks legit to me. It appears that this letter was sent to parents and carers of year six from Burnt Oak Junior School in Kent. And you've got to ask yourself, what is this all about? I notice there is something on the adjourning page about migration. Maybe their excuse is that it's about getting kids to experience what it might be like for people who are migrating from one country to another. But you have to ask, what kind of effect does this have on a child's psyche? Okay, so here is the letter. Okay, so it says here, Dear parents and carers, for the children's entry point, they will be imagining they are people who are moving away from the place where they live. Before they come to school on the morning of Wednesday, the 5th of January, please could you tell them they have five minutes to fill a small bag, day bag size, with the things they would take with them if they were leaving home for good. Please feel free to present this to your child as you see fit and ensure they do not bring any valuable goods into school. When the children get to school, we will tell them that they will be pretending there is an emergency in the country and they have to leave right there and then. It will take them a week to walk to a safe camp, but the group can travel together. We will discuss the items they have brought in their bags. The children will be taken outdoors within the school grounds where a variety of materials have been let, left scattered about for them to find and use. String, polythene, sheets, cotton sheets, blankets, buckets, bottles of water, tins of food, newspaper, etc. If you have any old unwanted materials, please could you send them into school to be used. This will be their camp area. They will then have to prepare a warm waterproof shelter which they can lay down in and will become their home. We are really excited to start the new year and this topic with the children. Kind regards the year six team. So yeah, there you go. So it's, let's play pretend that there's a world emergency. Let's play pretend that the children will be leaving home for good. Let's play pretend they are going to be taken from their home. Let's pretend to walk to a camp and it's going to take a week to walk there. Let's pretend to make outside shelter camp to survive and pretend that that will be their home. It sounds, it sounds a little odd, don't you think? You know, I mean, you can say, let's pretend to a child, but they are not stupid. I mean, they will be asking in their minds, at least, they will be saying, why are we doing this? What, what is this all about? What, what are they doing? A massive emergency where the school takes me to a camp and tells me I won't be going home anymore. Are parents not questioning stuff like this? Look, uh, like I've said, I haven't been able to get it 100% verified, this letter, but it looks legit to me. And the school have posted on social media about this exercise that they've been doing this camp thing outside and moving people. I'm guessing it's correct. And I'm curious, are there other schools doing this? And if so, what is their excuse for it? Okay. Now, anyway, look, I've seen articles today about censorship on social media, the government censorship, YouTube, Twitter, all of this stuff against anyone who is speaking against the narrative. Uh, this one, for instance. And like I said, I expect I expected censorship to be ramped up now. So if you haven't come and subscribe to the website at hugotalks.com, it's easy to do. You just put your email in and then you confirm it and you will get notifications every time I upload a video onto the site. It's that simple. It's more reliable than YouTube who continually switch off people's notifications and unsubscribe them. That's what I've been told from people. So if you are one of the many on YouTube who only watch my videos on YouTube, but you wanna stay in contact, come and subscribe at hugotalks.com because it's a very good chance I'll just vanish from here at some point and uh, you know, you'll lose contact.
Okay, thank you for listening and I'll see you later.